everyone. I hope that you liked our performances. I wanted to um, attach this video to it because, um, yeah, I wanted to wish you all a happy New Year's. And I like how Anna Brown says a happy now year, which is coming up. Now, I always saw the New Year's as a time in March and, you know, the springtime when everything's coming to life. But in reality, every day is a gift and it doesn't matter what day it is we can make a choice to live fully in the present and not um, take for granted those things that um, have been done for us and that are being done for us so that we can ascend and evolve and that's what this last year has done for me is i have been able to truly um, look at those things in my life that are no longer serving me and I have began to focus more on my heart and to open that bad boy up and there's been a lot of having to purge and let go and I'm still learning to um, sit with myself and meditate to change the habit uh, break the habit of being myself and so I am just um, grateful for all those who have spoken to my life. Thank you. You know who you are. And I hope that I can be encouragement and support for everyone else because I want to be a servant for humanity. I want to be using my light for others and for families all over the world, those who have been impacted by this modern day form of human trafficking that's going on by these for profit private business associations cps aps their privately owned kangaroo courts um you know just unconscious beings right now and i'm coming from it from a non-judgmental stance and not as i am better than anyone else it's just that when we are in survival mode or in these low vibrational places and um, emotions and ways of being and thoughts, we can um, just be stuck and bound by um, other people's indoctrination. And so I am grateful for myself um, stepping outside of that, being able to see, being able to focus on things that are going to help me and my family, but not only me and my family, but yours as well. And so I look forward to this next year, um, looking at um, all of the quantum um, yeah, information that's out there, the wisdom that's out there. I have something on the screen right now I just want to read because this is big in stepping into our sovereignty, our, our beingness. This isn't about sovereign citizen stuff or anything like that. This is about us being these infinite souls, having these human experiences. We truly are divine beings of love and light. And I've learned that this year, and I'm grateful for that. Um... And so I'm going to read this and then I'm going to let you guys go. And I'm just going to say I'm going into this next year and decade with an open heart, focusing on my heart when I feel that it's closed, focusing there, breathing in and out, meditating, sitting with myself and being able to release those things that are no longer serving me. And I know I have a lot more to shut off. And so I'm going to be focusing on that in this next year as I res have just restoration of my family. And um, I believe, I believe uh, that good things are coming. And I'm going to be creating. I'm going to be active. I'm going to be that change I want to see. So this is what it says. Uh, it's a quantum entanglement release decree. This is from Anna Brown on YouTube. And it says, I hereby call forth my divine multidimensional self to unify in divine love and pure heart coherence. Now I choose to clear all distortions and unconscious realities from my field so that I may restore order from within my sacred heart space and allow the source God I am to be fully embodied within me. I decree this as the light I am now, so be it and so it is. So thank you, Anna Brown, for that. I don't take any credit for it. I love it. And this is something, our words are powerful. Making decrees and listening to affirmations, rising higher meditation has helped me so much. Listening to her affirmations at night, um, her music, and so many others. Um, 
I am just so blessed to have this, all of these tools here for me because it's not always easy. And there's some, definitely some, some times when these um, emotions, these limiting emotions and thoughts come and are, I feel them binding me. And what I'm learning more and more about is not that that is bad that they you know, surface what can be difficult or can impact us in a way and keep us stuck is when we stay there. You know, how long are we going to allow those things to um, come into us and to be guiding us and leading us and impacting us? Um, it's truly about feeling them and then releasing them back to source and I'm no expert on this, but I am practicing it, and this walk is a process. It's a journey, and there's lots of practices that come in, and so I want to be unified with the field that is all around us and the unconditional love I want to experience, um, but I want to be really just joyful about the efforts that I'm putting forth and whatever comes from that, the fruit that comes, I want to then be able to rejoice in at the, just the, the timing, the divine timing that it comes, the restoration that comes. So I speak from a place, there's things that, um, I am struggling with and there's, um, different types of, um, interactions sometimes that happen that um, I am still working on just being the light and um, asking myself, what would my higher self do right now? How would my higher self respond? How would my higher self show up? And being able to speak from that place. Um, but one thing that I have really um, been happy that I've been able to do is I am not judging myself or staying in guilt when or worry or doubt and these low vibrations um when i do kind of fall down you know i brush myself off and i get back up and i have just so many people that are there to help me and um yeah so i'm going into this new year um and this next decade looking forward to all that we are going to be creating and co-creating together as the systems that are in place that are no longer serving humanity and just this world in general and nature and animals as they continue to fall. Um, I am just so glad that I am um, anchoring the love and light and that I am able to just see the darkness that I've had and be able to release that, to to love it and bless it and to surrender that and to just embody the light, embody um, source. And so, uh, yeah, let's go into this next year together with open hearts and focusing on those things that we want. And in the quantum, you know, things are a lot different in the quantum field. We are not bound by the laws that this 3D physical reality here on Earth has us in. There's just so much more than meets the eye. So uh, anything's possible, you guys. I'm going to say one more thing, and then, yeah, I'm going to let you go. I have another cut. I'm just talking about us being creators and co-creators, and I will let you go. Thanks so much. So as we realize more and more that we are creators and co-creators, we stand in our power, we realize that we can make a difference in our lives. We're here for a greater purpose. You know, when characters come into our lives, they are showing us more and more of things within us that need to come to light. We don't have to be digging. They just come up. And so I am looking at all of these interactions and different types of agreements and contracts that have been made before I came into this body that um, these are there for me. They're for me. They're not being, nothing's being done to me. It's being done for me. And really knowing that the universe is here to help us out at source 
wants to embody us and wants us to make it. We're not being punished. We're not being judged um, or anything like that, that we can change right now. We can be that change we want to see and that there is that unconditional love that we can be a part of if we choose to. And so that's what I'm going into this new year embracing, knowing that there's going to be a lot of changes, things that are no longer serving me. I'm going to let those things go and I'm going to embrace those things and make space for the things that are helping me. So for all those people who have, you know, been there and helped, there's been a lot more that I haven't even, um, you know, named. I thank you for your work and the energy you put forth. Thank you so much. Namaste. Uh, I was coming on here to say, see it, be it. And where did you learn that from? From a movie. What movie? Um, Barbie. Barbie. It was Spy Barbie. Spy Barbie. Nope. Oh, yeah. Yeah.